everyone. It's like it's almost like between Makeup Geeks peaches and peaches and cream, beaches and cream, something peach smoothie and beaches and cream. Anyways, it's kind of or creme brulee. Oh my gosh, it's almost like Makeup Geeks creme brulee and peaches and cream, creme brulee. And cream brulee. What in the hell is that called? Hello, everyone. Welcome back. I hope you all had a fantastic week. So, I'm back with Friday Favorites. I haven't done Friday Favorites in like a month now because I didn't do it in December because I did the 12 days of Christmas and then the holidays came and then annual favorites, etc. So, if you missed my 2015 favorites, I will link them below. I did a makeup and then also a skin and body care. So, I will link those below. I'll put them in cards so you can just click on it or whatever. I also posted a video about an article in a local magazine that I was in and I read the article to you guys. And that's my first favorite is the support you showed me on that video. I was literally in tears. I couldn't even Snapchat because my eyes were swollen and I was crying so much from your guys' comments. So, thank you so much for that. So, I'm back with Friday Favorites and y'all, I have three fails this week. So, I think we're going to start there just so we can get that out of the way because I haven't had fails in a while, but these three, three things I had to tell you guys about. Okay. Number one, I have been loving Sephora's brand of skincare this year and makeup or in 2015, but I tried the sample of the Sephora Instant Beauty or Instant Moisturizer for more beautiful than ever. Okay, this, I'm not someone who is sensitive to smells whatsoever, but this was so perfumey that it gave me a headache. And when I rubbed it into my skin, it didn't make the perfume scent go away. Like, it was just so gross. It literally gave me a headache. I didn't even use this whole sample. As a matter of fact, after about 30 minutes, I went and washed my face because I was like, I can't smell this anymore. So, this was a fail. I do like a lot of the Sephora brand, um, like, skincare, but not that. No. Okay, another thing that I tried... This made me so mad, and I had such high hopes for it. It is this new, like, I don't know what it is. It's like a beauty sponge on a stick by Maybelline. Um, I know they have a foundation that goes with this, but I didn't get the foundation. I thought this would be great for concealing under the eyes. It just does not work. It's hard. It sucks up so much product, even when you use it wet or damp. It doesn't blend out good. It's way too small for foundation. I do, I could possibly use it for cream concealing, but I just really didn't like this and I don't recommend it. Get the Real Techniques one. Don't get that one. And then the last fail I had, I made an Instagram post about this because I loved it the second I put it on. It's the Stila Huge um, Mascara. It says, yeah, Extreme Lash Mascara by Stila. This is the sample size that I got. And I loved it when I first put it on. But you guys, I tried this three different times. I had so many flakes on my eyes the first time. And then the second time I wore it, it did the same thing. It flaked off within about an hour. And then the third time, I had to wash my face. Because all these little, I don't know, it's almost like that unique... 3D mascara or whatever it's called. I tried that and the fibers got in my eyes really bad. That's what this did too. All those little flakes got in my eyes. My eyes were so irritated. So, I definitely don't recommend this. So, let's get into some products that I actually liked so I don't have to be negative anymore. Okay, um, speaking of mascaras, It Cosmetics came out with a new mascara. I'll insert a clip because I did put lashes on. But I'm going to insert a clip now without false lashes so you can see. This is just one layer of this mascara. It's called 
the Super Hero Mascara. It's the it says Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara, and it really does volumize your lashes. I kind of like the bottle too. It's like this hourglass type shape. The wand is it's bigger, but it's not huge, and I always smell mascaras. I don't know. I really like this mascara. This is the favorite mascara I've ever tried from It Cosmetics so far. So I was loving that this week. I got to play with it and um, I'm not sure when it releases, but if it is released, I will link it below. But be on the lookout for this because it is a great one. Okay, let's stick with eyes. I got some new goodies, which I'm going to have a couple hauls going up in the next few weeks. But I was playing with a lot of eyeshadows and uh, like newer eyeshadow items. But I wanted to mention these two that were already in my collection because I've been reaching for both of these singles and I have the hiccups. The first one is a Jouer single and this is in the color Peach. It's almost a perfect mixture between Cream Brulee and Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. But it's like just the perfect first shadow to put in kind of your crease up into your transition. If you have darker, this would be good as a highlight. Just a really pretty single eyeshadow. And I reached for, I actually got a really good dip in this pan. I like that it comes with a little mirror too. That's kind of cool. So I love that. And then this other one. I got this at a CCO, and I'm not sure if it was limited edition, but I will definitely try to find it. It's a Lancome shadow. It's called this Sparkling Color High Fidelity, and it's in S207. It's just this really pretty metallic, almost taupe color. It's absolutely stunning. I do have this on my lids today. I mean, just look at it from there. Look how it hits when the light hits it. It's just so metallic so beautiful you can use this formula wet wet or dry I love it both ways it's just a really great shadow I hope I'm hoping it's not discontinued because a lot of times when you get stuff at CCOs it is an older product but I'll try to find it and link it because I loved that the past few weeks and then um okay so let's talk about these two things I used I have two ColourPop blushes and I haven't felt madly in love with the blushes yet. This is in the color Tasty. And I like, the other one I have is Prenup. But, but I found the perfect brush to use with the ColourPop blushes. And it made me fall in love with them. This color Tasty I have on the apples in my cheeks today. And it's kind of just got, it's an orange, straight up orange shade. But it's got some like, a little bit of sheen to it it says the formula is a pearlized formula and it's really pretty but mainly I wanted to tell you guys about this brush this is the Delium Tools 968 brush and this is um, it's like a different I, I think I told you guys about these already but it's kind of like a different spin on brushes you're basically supposed to be able to use one side for powder products or one, and one side for cream products or something like that. Um, I will link this one below though because this picks up the perfect amount of color with these ColourPop blushes because this is kind of a tricky formula to work with as far as blushes because it's not a cream and it's not a powder. It's not a liquid. It's just very strange. So I find that this brush is perfect for it. And then I had to throw this in because I have been loving this since Christmas. It's the Stephen Klein NARS face palette what's it called the one shocking moment cheek studio palette and I just love the ease of this I love only having to have out one product um, or one thing you know I can use this as my contour and I can use this as a bronzer and a setting powder and I have four blushes the one I have on today is luster I have that on kind of the back half of my cheeks and then I have the color pop on the front but I just love this palette because it's all in one and most of these things if not all of them are permanent items and I love it when companies come out with palettes that are also permanent in the line so loved those cheek products and then let's just do lips and we'll be done I think I didn't want to make this too long because I know y'all are getting like hit hard with favorites right now but um the combo that I have on my lips today is 
amazing. And it's like one $2 product and one $35 product, product. But you know what? That's just how it worked out. I I never try to do like a certain amount of drugstore and a certain amount of high end. I just tell you guys what I'm loving. So what I have my lips lined with is Jordana's Tawny. This has been a long time lip liner love of mine. And um, it's just the perfect lip liner for darker nudes or your lips but better or even on its own this formula is so creamy that you can wear on its own and it doesn't like make your lips really dry looking and I was reminded about this YSL lipstick that I got a, a while back and it's kind of like a brown color and when I bought it browns weren't really in like they are now but this is such a beautiful color. It's like if you're afraid to wear a straight up dookie brown on your lips, but you want to kind of dabble into it, this is a great one because it's sheer. You can build it up, but it's sheer enough that it's comfortable for you. It's not, it's not stepping too much out of your comfort zone, if you know what I mean, because I'm there with you, girl. I didn't even tell you what it is. It's the Rouge Volant Shine in number 10. Now, I will say that this formula does not last as long as a lot of lipsticks that I own, but I find that pairing it with Tawny Lip Liner and filling in my whole lips with this lip liner or whatever lip liner, it really makes these lipsticks last a little bit longer. And I love these YSL Shines because they are so comfortable. And like I said, you can really... Like you see, you can really sheer it out like that, or you can build it up to the intensity that I have on my lips right now, and it's just a really pretty color. So I know the matte lipsticks or the matte lips are really on trend right now, but if you're not a fan of matte lips and you're not a fan of just that plain old brown, try that one because it's a little bit more sheer version, so you might be more comfortable in it. And that formula alone, it feels like you are wearing like a chapstick or something phenomenal on your lips. So, wanted to share that with you. And then, okay, I have had a love-hate relationship, obviously, with ColourPop. Some things I love, some things not so much. I was not a fan of their lippy sticks, mainly because every lippy stick that I've ever bought, the packaging is jacked up. Like, the you know, the product will fall out or whatever, but this one isn't doing it anymore, thank God. But um, I also just don't find that they're the most flattering on me because I do have aging lips and especially the matte formulas can kind of um, increase the lines on my lips. But I do have Lumiere and one of you guys mentioned to me that this was your fa one of your favorite lipsticks. And I started using it and I fell in love with it. Honestly, I really do love this tone of lipstick. And I, I like that it is like a smaller skin because I don't have big lips. So sometimes big lipsticks go outside of my lines, but this one doesn't. It's the perfect size. It's highly pigmented. I think maybe whenever I tried them, I was ex I was, I, I don't know what was going on, but I have fell in love with Lumiere and it's kind of made me want to try more of their lippy sticks. And this is a matte formula, but they won my heart over between this lips, lippy stick and this um, blush because both of these products weren't my favorite from the ColourPop line until recently. And I've just found ways to make them work for me and I've really fell in love with both of them. So. The very last thing is so random. A lot of the time during the holiday season, I didn't wear a lot of makeup. It was just like BB cream or nothing or just very light makeup. And so on those days, I was really using this Clinique Super Balm Moisturizing Gloss in Black Honey. I got this as a little sample size and when I'm just doing stuff around the house, I always like to have a product on my lips because my lips are really dry. And this kind of, it doesn't give a lot of color at all, but it does kind of give you a little bit of color. Like whenever I swatch it, it looks like it, but when it's on your lips, it's right there. It doesn't give you a lot of color, but it defines your lips and it feels 
amazing. So I'm a big time fan of this, especially just for being around the house. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a fantastic holiday season. And I will talk to you very soon. As always, let me know what you were loving the past week or a couple of weeks. And I will see you very soon. Bye.